Okay guys, okay guys, okay, okay. Welcome to another moment of cooking with Minnie Meg. Today we're in the kitchen and we're gonna be going down with a very fantastic dish. And this dish is out of this world good. Really, really cool dish today we're gonna prepare. And it's gonna be a form of grilled chicken in a kind of rich sauce. And so we want you guys to come with us we're not going to be talking, we're just going to just go ahead and cook and we want you guys, we'll put the recipes on and the ingredients on the screen and so you guys can follow along and if you really really like this dish, you can always go out there and recreate it, okay? We have recreated this dish from scratch and um, we know that you guys will be able to, to do the same. And so um, I know that if you are able to reproduce this dish, it's going to be one of, one of your best dish out there to accommodate friends and family. It's going to be a great dish, outstanding, one of the best out there. Um, this is one of our best production and I know that you guys are going to like it. So let's go with this here dish today okay thank you for stopping by and let's go okay guys let's go for those people who never had a chance to see my my grill indoor grill and this is the pot pot here that we use to do our grilling our indoor doors grilling and so you're gonna need this pot if you're gonna follow this production or recreate this production um, you're gonna need this part here. Okay, so for those people who want to see how we do our indoor grill, indoors grill, this is the part that we use. Okay guys, so for this here dish, what you really gonna need, you're gonna need some green um, onions or escalion or scallion, whatever you call it. You're gonna need some tomatoes. Okay. We can need some peppers and uh, you can use these if you have them and or you can use these if you have this but both of them both of these peppers give a little heat and that's exactly what we want for our um, for this dish as usual we definitely need to eat some lemon i always cook with lemon always cook with that's one of my favorite ingredients for cooking. I love the taste of lemon and lime. So you can use that. If you have this kind of pepper too, you can use this. So either the red one or the yellow ones. If you don't have lemon and, and you have orange, just use your orange for the ingredients, okay? For this ingredients. We're gonna need some bok choy, or pak choy, whatever you call it. Same thing. We're gonna need some okra. We're gonna need some asparagus. And I'll also list this on the screen. Okay. We're gonna need tons of veggies, and I have some here. So whatever veggies, do, whatever vegetables you have, we have this one here: baby spinach and agarella. So we're gonna use some of these. The magic spoon we're going to be using are these here. Because we're going to be measuring our curcumin soy sauce. Okay, curcumin. And we're going to be using some duck sauce also to make our, our gravy. Guys, if anything else that we need as usual, 
you need oil and we're gonna use olive oil today so let's go guys we are ready to cook this outstanding fantastic dish and again the key ingredient so we have a bit of chicken breast here a bit of chicken breast in here which we're gonna tr trim and then wash with some I love to wash my meat or vegetables with this vinegar here so this is the one you can use so we'll just go ahead and pour a little on our chicken just a teaspoon and we're gonna let it sit with some salt this and we're gonna let it sit for a minute and then we're gonna wash and begin the process okay okay guys so we are back to begin all right so everything is on the counter hopefully we can see let me lower my camera some Okay, so I've lowered, lowered my camera somewhat down a bit and we are ready to begin, okay? We're going to use a shear, kitchen shear. We're going to use a kitchen shear to just trim up our meat and so um, let's begin. You want to take off all the fats that you see, any kind of saturated fat. And now that we've trimmed the chicken, we're going to go ahead and wash this here chicken, okay? Okay, so we have washed the chicken once and we are washing a second time and we're going to pour out that water And feel free to go ahead and remove any kind of debris that is on the chicken breast that you don't want any fibers or anything like that just go ahead and take that off I don't like to see fibers in my chicken Gonna go ahead and put some sea salt on. We're gonna drizzle in a bit of lemon juice on, just a tad bit. Now we don't want the chicken to be saggy, so as the chicken is cooked, we're gonna we put in some more on but for now that's all we really need on it we're gonna let it sit for approximately a minute and we're gonna go to the grill and from there we're just gonna put the ingredients on this on the screen okay going forward Okay guys, so now that we're at the stove, we're just going to put a tad bit of oil on the grill so that nothing will stick. And we're going to go ahead and put our chicken on, diagonal. Then we're going to change it and turn it the other way, okay? There we go. 
Okay guys, so after about a minute or two on this side, a minute or two on that side, we're going to turn it the other way. So it has a crisscross, okay? And that's on medium heat. And I've changed my spatula to the metal one. That plastic one would have burned with this kind of cast iron. So after a minute, we have the crisscross. We're going to turn it. Okay guys, so this chicken is just about done. And we're going to move on to the other. Okay guys, so now that the chicken is done, we're going to go ahead and prepare the rest of um, the meal.
Okay guys, so that's the finished dish. That is the finished dish right here guys. That is our finished dish for the day. And um, our challenge as usual is, we're gonna take a couple of shots and we're gonna challenge you guys to go out there and prepare this exact dish. We want you to come back here and do something. If you recreate or um, this dish, comes out beautiful, it's tasty, it's appetizing, you like it, we wanted to come back here and to share your experience with us, okay? You've seen the ingredients that we have used, but we'll also list all the ingredients on the on the screen, okay? So you can always go out and recreate this here dish. I really don't mind, we really don't mind what you do. We want you guys to be creative. If something else that you want to put into this dish, don't be afraid to go ahead and put put in whatever, um, add and take out vegetables. If you're not able to use okra or you can't find it or asparagus or green, the green scallion that we bundled, bundled right here. If you can't find that, use something else. Use green onion, use purple onion. Veggies, just the same. Switch out tomato, pepper, this pepper sort of give a little kick. So if you cannot use pepper, don't use it. So um, use something else, okay? But we want, the most of all, we want you guys to go out there and recreate this dish. And we want you to come back here and to share your experience. Again, on behalf of my sister Min, it's a pleasure, such a pleasure, coming to you guys weekly um, to present these very appetizing, healthy dish. Um, the dishes on the, in the, in, um, that been served in restaurants and all the places, they are not a great food unless it's gonna be a lot of money. People cooking for commercial are not gonna buy a great food to produce mass um, cooking production like that. They're gonna buy B and below. So if you can go out and buy organic food and prepare it in five or six minutes like this, this is healthy food for you and your family. This is something that you know how it is prepared, how clean it is, it only takes, takes five minutes to prepare. To prepare, it only takes five minutes to prepare, only five. And um, it's something that is gonna keep you and your family very healthy and happy and to live a longer life. Why not do it? Um, especially so when you're having friends and company over, you can always impress them with this very beautiful dish here. So we're gonna take a couple of shots and um, we're gonna maybe start a, a blog. So we'll just put that up, you know, as we cook and as we share. So on. Till we see you guys again, we gonna we wanna say ta ta cha la bella on your way out. Please do not forget to thumbs up, subscribe and comment, okay? Constructive criticism criticisms guys. If you don't have something nice to say then then don't say anything at all. And again, I've recreated it, you recreated it, the other person recreated it. I really don't mind. I don't mind at all. So just go out there, do what you gotta do, and make it a fantastic dish, a productive day, a happy, healthy life. Until I see you again, bye-bye.